what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel so this video here we have this unit came in for a hard start and also we're gonna do some transmission upgrades to it so let's get her inside and I'll show you what we're doing So we got her inside here. Now let me show you what we're doing. So what we're doing is a full manual valve body conversion on this thing. So the transmission in this is a 47RE. And here's a full manual valve body from Firepunk Diesel. We got ourselves a B&M switched shifter, Firepunk bracket, B&M cover for the shifter, connector for at the transmission, the shift cable, and all the mounting hardware, and the manual and stuff and how to do it. Now we also have ATF plus four, because these, uh, these Chrysler transmissions are pretty particular on the fluid they get. So these ones, I always run ATF plus four in it, and that is what they call for from factory. So let's get the pan drained on this thing. And so we can get taking the uh, the old valve body out. All right, so we got the pan off and the filter. And you can see the valve body here. So to remove the valve body, we have to move the um, park neutral switch here. And then unplug the connector for the transmission controller, which is up in here. Then we can take this spring off. Um, the kick down cable, you have to take that bracket off, that bracket off, and then you can take out all these 11 mil bolts that are around the perimeter of the valve body. And then it should drop down and then come out with a rod. So the rod is the parking pole, or the rod's the park rod that goes in the back of the transmission. So. Let's uh, get all this stuff out and yeah, get the valve body down. So now we got the old valve body out. When you drop it down, you gotta watch the accumulator spring and accumulator piston. They just sit on top of the valve body like that when they come down and uh, the accumulator piston goes up into its bore above the valve body. So when you're putting it back together, I have some um, training assembly goo just I just put a little bit on there, stick it up in. It's really tacky, so this will stay there. And then uh, you don't have to worry about when you're putting the spring back up in on top of the valve body of it falling out. Also, underneath, <clears throat> also makes it super easy to adjust your bands. There's your one band, there's your other band. There's the adjuster for the uh, one band, but the other one you have to adjust from the inside. So we'll adjust those up and then uh, get the get the valve body back in. All right, so we got our bands adjusted here. So for the rear band, you're gonna want to get a quarter inch um, socket and a 14 millimeter wrench. Crack the nut loose unthread the nut till it's down further on the shaft, tighten the center stud to 72 inch pounds, and then back the stud off three turns and then torque the nut to 25 foot pounds. For the outside, this one had a square end on it. I've seen them have a square end. I've seen them have the same end as the internal one. Um, I've seen a bunch of different ones on these things. So for this one, you want to do the same thing. So crack the nut loose. It's an 18 or a 19 millimeter. And then thread this, the nut off of the stud a bit. Tighten the stud to 72 inch pounds. And then back this one out one and seven eighths of a turn. So I probably threaded this thing in. So for that front band, I probably threaded it in, oh, four or five turns. And it's only supposed to be an inch, well, one and seven eighths turnout. So that front band was way out of adjustment. 
So now we got the bands adjusted and now we can um, start putting the valve body back in. I already wiped out the accumulator passage. So I can just get the accumulator and put a little bit of the blue goo on it and put it in. Also, this upper accumulator spring came out. So make sure you put that sucker back in. So this is the stuff I have right here. I got it from a tranny guy. Well, that I, I used, but I'm starting to do a little bit more on my own. This is what they use to assemble transmissions. So it's a little chilly in here, so it's a little thick. There we go. See how that'll hold up in there. And we don't have to worry about it uh, falling out when we put the valve body up. So we are ready to put the new one in. These old rigs here, I'm gonna put a little bit of the blue stuff on just to help it slide up in. Same with this shaft here. And then don't forget to put the new spring where it is supposed to go. So let's get her up there and get her torqued down. All right guys, so we got our valve body up in. Trickiest part was that little C-clip right there. That bugger was a pain in the butt. Um, so after you have it up in, then these 10 or 11 mil bolts, you torque them to a hundred inch pounds. And uh, you can see our valves, everything up in here. Everything's all good. Tranny goes in park. So now we can put our pan on filled with fluid and then we have to do our linkage to our shifter and then the wiring in the plug. All right, so I was editing my video last night and I forgot to hit record on some pretty uh, important parts to uh, this build. So shifter, to mount it, we had to modify the fire pump bracket because this thing is a 2007 and they only make them for or this thing's a 97 and they only make for 98 knots so we had to space it out and uh cut it and weld a piece to angle out the uh, bottom part there to get the proper angulation on the shifter and for the bottom i didn't explain the training lines or anything so this mount comes with the B&M shifter. It won't work with the factory trans cooler line. So we just unthreaded the fitting from the transmission, which is a quarter inch pipe. Brought it out, brought it out, put a 90 in. That's the factory tranny cooler uh, fitting. That's the factory tranny cooler nut. Steel to steel compression fitting, the half inch. Steel to steel compression fitting, the half inch. Made this 90, boom, done. The cable that came with the shifter was too short. It was only a four foot cable, so I had to get a longer one for that as well. And then also to adjust the shifter, you go up top, put the shifter in first, put this lever gear selector in first down here, so which is way over here, and then adjust these jam nuts. So there's a nut here and a nut on the inside. Loosen this one off and adjust it so this piece right here is kind of the top piece is smaller to go up in so you want to make sure that'll move in and out freely and then you go up top put in second do the same thing neutral or uh, drive same thing all the gears you want to make sure that this pin slides freely in and out of the uh, the, the, the lever here now for the wiring end Basically, you only have three wires that run to the transmission. This one here is 12 volt power. This one here is a ground control circuit for the lockup. This one here is a ground control circuit for the overdrive. And this that comes down from the shifter as well is a ground circuit. So basically, I displaced the uh, ground feed for the toggles on the, on the shifter, displaced the ground, 
into the ground on the harness and then the other two wires splice into there so when you so when you're driving you toggle it on it'll ground the solenoid turn on the lockup and or turn on the overdrive whichever one you want so to seal them up i use solder and shrink tube and butt connectors i'm just going to wrap this up with tape and plug it back in and we should be good to go we'll go for a test drive all right guys so here's the shifter here so that's first gear, second gear, third gear, overdrive, lockup, neutral, hit the gate, reverse, park. So let's, uh, let's take her for a ride and see how she all works. guys got our shifter all in uh, it's working great as you can see you could I don't know if you could hear because the intakes pretty loud in here but you got your first second third overdrive lock up working like a champ so that's it for this video don't forget to like us on Facebook subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Instagram for more updates on um, some fun projects we got going on and just general work around the shop so thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one Thank you.